Hey, boys and girls, have you ever been in a store or somewhere and you couldn't find your parents? They, they were missing? Have you ever gone somewhere and you couldn't find mommy and daddy? Mommy and daddy were lost. Have you ever done that? No? You've always, always been there with you? Well, I want to tell you a couple of stories this morning. First is about my brother. My brother, he was in high school when this happened. He was hunting with my dad and a couple of other guys, and they were rabbit hunting, and they went to the woods, and so my brother was standing at one place, and my dad had gone down to another place, and the other guys to another one, and there were no rabbits. They couldn't find any rabbits, so it was cold, and my brother stayed out there for a while, and he said after he stayed out there for a while, he got really cold, and he thought he would go back to the truck where my dad had parked the truck. They were in two different trucks, and just sit in there and wait for everybody else to come out of the woods. Well, he waited, and he waited. He started looking, and he remembered there was a creek. He remembered some of the things the, the um, things that he could look at the, to be able to see where he was going to go back. And instead of walking straight back to where the truck was, he started walking sideways. Well, he walked, and he walked, and he walked. He kept on, and he kept on, and things weren't looking familiar, and he realized he was lost, and he didn't know what to do, and he called out for my dad, and my dad didn't answer. My dad, because the rabbits, they couldn't find any rabbits, my dad and the other ones had gone to another field to hunt, so they weren't there, and he walked and walked and walked for the longest time. He got cold, and he was scared, and he just, he thought, I'm lost. I don't know how I'm going to be able to, to go back and find the truck. He said, I hope, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. So eventually he turned around and started back and he found the truck and he was probably just really close to it when, from the place he started, but he was lost and he couldn't find his way. Well, then my sister, when she was little, and she was a little tiny thing, she was younger than, than y'all are. My sister, we had a lot of people over at our house and the, all the men were outside, and they were talking and, you know, probably cooking or something. And all the women were inside, and they were, you know, talking and stuff. Well, my sister walked down our driveway, and we had this really long driveway. And she walked down to the end of the driveway. Well, all the, all the men outside thought she was in the house with the women. And the women thought she was outside with the men. Well, she walked all the way down this long driveway, little bitty thing. She was so little, she still had a bottle, okay? That's how little she was. She got down to the end of the driveway and got on the highway. And a patrolman or an officer picked her up and brought her up. And, boy, my, my parents were just really upset when, you know, everybody, nobody knew where she was. And they brought her, the, the patrol officer brought her back into the house. And very valuable lesson there about watching children. Boys and girls, the reason I told you those two stories is sometimes we're lost. If we don't have Christ in our lives, we're lost too. And we're like my brother. If we don't have Christ in our lives, we wander aimlessly, not knowing where to go, not knowing which way to turn, looking for something that looks right but can't find our way. But boys and girls, sometimes we're like my sister and Somebody found her and showed her the way, brought her back up. And boys and girls, that's what this church is all about. It's trying to show you the way because we're all lost without Christ. And when we have somebody show us the way to Christ, then we are able to ask him to come into our heart and accept him as our Lord and Savior. And then we know which way to go. We don't, we aren't lost again. We don't have to worry about getting cold and wondering where we're supposed to go next because Christ is there with us to guide our directions, to guide our steps. So boys and girls, how powerful it is that this church is working toward helping everybody who is lost to be able to find the way and how wonderful it is that there's somebody that looks out for us to be able to help us when we are lost. Boys and girls, let's walk up real quietly to Children's Church.